I was a senior in high school, and I got my notice, you know, when I signed up. And I'm going to school at Gillum, and we had a man living in Gillum on draft board. The superintendent and I went went to him and asked him about, you know, getting deferred to finish school. He said, we can't defer you to finish school. But he said, you're a farmer, I can defer you for that. I said, don't defer me that. And that was the end of it. And that's when they just pulled my name off the roster for what they had to do. <clears throat> Until, like my son said, the first of May, I graduated. Ten days later, I had my notice to report. I was at Camp Sturt, Georgia for 14 weeks, basic training, infantry and basic training in 40 millimeters. Then when I shipped out from there, I had a delay en route home and had to report back to Camp Hewlett, Texas, where I joined 105 artillery. <clears throat> and they were set up to go, go to Europe. And I was there about a week, and they said, we're going to deactivate. They just chugged me. They started shipping people out for replacements all over the United States. They come in one morning, they said, we need three people to go to Fort, uh, Fort Raleigh, Kansas. Trying to do that 150 miles home, so I went to Fort Raleigh, Kansas, and become into 1296 Combat Engineers. I trained with them in Kansas. I shipped overseas as a full unit, and uh, when we got over there, we trained a little bit, and then we were going to replace the 115th Combat Engineers. And at that time, <coughs> we um, replaced them, but before we replaced them, we made a beachhead under fire, with no enemy over there, but under fire. Man on man, you know, Man L-1296 to Man L-110. We done that, we went back and waited. Probably going to make a invasion to Japan. Mm -hmm. We, I was sitting on a little island named Ilo Ilo. You know, Pan A, it's Ilo Ilo City of Pan A. That's where we was waiting. And when the good news come with the second bomb that Harry S. Truman dropped, I think a few days later the war was over. He dropped the first from the ninth, sixth and next from the ninth, and the war was over in four, the 14th. <clears throat> then I went back and there's a, the war was over, and I volunteered to go to a school on, on Luzon, yeah, Luzon, about 50 miles, 175 from Manila, and took a course in heavy equipment. And when I got up there and took that course, uh, the company commander contacted me of my outfit, said, we're deactivating. You want to stay there? He said he had a job for you. And I said, just threw me there as anywhere. Well, it come up <coughs> that they were discharging you on uh, points. And I liked a few points getting out, you know, at that point. So then they start discharging on time of service as of a certain date. And uh, so I got transferred to that engineer school and uh, become active first sergeant. I just was a buck sergeant, but I was active first sergeant. Took their morning reports, you know, and things, mm -hmm. about 200 men. And that's just about it until I come back to. Port Raleigh, Kansas, and I separated there. I was, got out of the Army there before I went in.